Good morning. I could do this here or I could do it here, which is a lot more relaxing because it really is icy, icy cold and actually snowing uh, at the moment. So oh, the comfort of my own home felt like a, a nicer place to talk to you. So where am I at today and where are you? Pockets of joy followed by intermittent spikes of anxiety. So back to that roller coaster thing. I'm kind of all right at the moment. And I'm all right sort of most of the time, but there are these horrendous spikes of anxiety. And anxiety is such a weird thing because we tend to turn on ourselves and think it's our fault. And nothing about what we're going through at the moment is your fault. It's just kind of the way it is. And it's about getting through it. And um, one of the ways I find most helpful to get through this is by engaging in something creative or spontaneous and that might be reading a book it might be singing a song or playing the piano or even trying to write a song or engaging in a tv show that i get really hooked in but the, the fact of the matter is there is this kind of uh th this sense that w w you can be okay one minute and then not okay the next which reminds me of the the bipolar uk scale which marks feelings from zero which is suicidal to 10 which is hypermania, which is when you think you're God and can jump off a tall building and, and not die. Um, and it, it obviously, for those who've been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, this, this fluctuation from sometimes zero and one to nine and 10 is incredibly scary and of course, very, very dangerous. But my whole thing is this, I think we are all, those of us diagnosed with this or not, um, on that scale and I, I tend to maintain that as long as one can ride uh, between a four and a seven on, on that scale, so four is feeling a bit lethargic, a bit tired, and uh, like people often feel, I think, at the moment, because there's this kind of cycle you get into of the less you do, the tired you get, and the less you want to do, which of course then leads to feeling rather down and a bit pointless and everything feels like it's not really worth the effort. So that might be a four, and a, a five is a kind of acceptable yeah I'm fine yeah it's okay and uh six is yeah I'm good yeah six is fine uh seven is yeah great this is this is this is lovely and I even touch an eight sometimes and eight is perhaps when we think we can spin all the plates in the world without dropping any and perhaps we're we're borderline arrogant we, we kind of think yep yeah, got this uh and that's an eight and I, I think it's fine to to touch that every now and then but not to hang around there too long and obviously the other way, a three uh, is maybe a duvet day where you want to stay in bed and do very little, but all these feelings are completely natural. And uh, it, whilst it's okay to not be okay sometimes, it doesn't feel okay when you're on a zero, one and a two. Uh, and I think we have to kind of respect that. And when we're feeling very low, it's very important to ask for help and to, to know that it's all right to reach out and make communication with other people. And remember that there is huge power, not just okay, but huge power in vulnerability. Now, I think we're ashamed of our own vulnerability and it's it's hard to admit sometimes because we think we've got to appear okay the whole time. There is huge power in vulnerability because vulnerability doesn't mean weak and feeble. It just means laying ourselves open to risk and that we are doing the whole time, whether we like it or not. So all vulnerability means to me is by being open and real and dropping our guards, our masks, and uh, that that allows us to connect in a more genuine way with other people. Um, that's my main message for today. We are all feeling, I think, off and on much the same way. In terms of this pandemic, I think the end is in sight, uh, so we can afford a little optimism, but obviously we'll have to wait and see exactly what that time scale is. And uh, as these Groundhog Days repeat themselves over and over and over again, just more important than ever to remember that we all need to continue to be here to support one another. I think that's all I need to say today, but lots and lots of love to you all and have a peaceful week. Bye.